If I was 29, what would I do? Uh, first thing is house hack. And the, so that means buy a triplex or a, dupl or a duplex, a uh, fourplex. And hopefully, hopefully you'd be in an area. Well, let me, let me actually back up here. I would only do that if I was in an area where I could get positive cash flow. Um, I wouldn't leverage myself and, and take too much risk. So I assuming that you could have positive cash flow and your tenants would pay the mortgage for you. So on top of that, you're still putting money in your pocket after all your mortgage is paid, all your insurance is paid, all your utilities, all the property taxes, all your expenses are covered. You're still, let's say, putting two or $300 a month in your pocket. If you live in an area where that's possible in a good neighborhood, I think that's the best thing that young people can do to secure their financial future. And then what you do is take the money you would have spent on the mortgage or the rent payment, invest, 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 invest. So most people's main expense, most Americans, is their housing cost, whether that's rent or a mortgage, uh, maybe outside of taxes. Taxes is probably even more for uh, higher earners. But uh, let's for, for most people outside of taxes, it's going to be your, your housing payment. So if you can eliminate that housing payment and take that money and put it into investing in, you know, like a 1080-10 type portfolio or real estate or, you know, things that pay you to own them and gold and some speculative assets, over the long run, you're going to be all set. I, and I mean long run. I mean, if you're 29 right now, if you execute on this, by the, dude, by the time you're 50, you're going to be jamming, jamming. So that's what I would do. And then while I was working my nine to five gig, assuming that's what you're doing, I'd have my, my house hack, so my triplex. Then I'd work my nine to five gig to pay the bills, have a couple extra hundred bucks coming in, positive cash flow to pay some other bills. And I would, I, zero consumer debt, none. Don't even think about using a credit card. Um, you're, you're using smart debt in the form of that mortgage and make sure you got a fixed rate on that. And then I would try to come up with some sort of hustle, some sort of side hustle for the nights and weekends online where that I really enjoyed, or maybe I could leverage the skills that I'm learning in my nine to five and just keep building that, building it and building it until it gets to a point where you your cash flow coming in from your side hustle, and you might fail at a few, I'm sure, but that's fine. That doesn't matter. That's what we do as entrepreneurs. We just throw things up against the wall and we just keep iterating. We see what sticks. We move forward and just keep going and going and going. And so then once your side hustle is making, let's say five grand a month and your gig is only making four grand a month, then you're taking all that additional money. You're putting that into your investment portfolio. And then I'd get to a point where I would, I would move. I would go to a place that were that had, in my opinion, a higher standard of living and the cost of living was significantly lower. And then I would take the delta between my expenses and living very, very well, mind you, in another uh, area. And then I'd take that and continue to just put into the investment pool, whether you're buying real estate, dividend paying stocks, bonds, you know, international stocks, uh, who knows what it is, Bitcoin, gold, miners, etc. That's what I'd do if I was 29. Actually, my yeah, I'd probably flip stuff too, just thinking about it. I'd probably flip stuff as well. So I'd do the side hustle, I'd do the, the house hack. I'd work my nine to five, but on weekends I'd probably flip stuff. Because that's something you can do that doesn't take much time. And that is going to give you a really, really good education when it comes to investing in real estate, if that's something you want to pursue more long term. So just to clarify, we got house hack, we've got side hustle, we've got flipping and reinvesting all of the, the excess money you have, uh, no consumer debt. Once you get to a point with a side hustle, think about moving to another country or at least maybe another state where the cost of living is much lower, but the quality of life is the same or better. And then just keep reinvesting.